But first, Dr Peter Sharples entered politics just five years ago. Today, the Māori Party leader holds a key ministerial portfolio of Māori affairs in a historic deal with National, and his co-leader, Tariana Turia, will also take on ministerial responsibilities. Under the new deal, they have secured a promise from National to review the controversial Forsher and Seabed Act and an agreement to keep the Māori seats. Dr Peter Sharples joins me now. Kia ora, Peter. Kia ora, well, Welcome to Sunrise. Kia ora. What are your bottom lines in this deal? Because before the election, <laughs> the bottom line was the entrenchment of the Maori seats, and I see that's not on the table anymore. Oh well, it's it's covered in the in the uh, deal that you've just explained. I mean, that's but they're the not going to be entrenched, are they? No, at this time. But the point is, for the first time, he said publicly that they're not going to go until Maori say that they're going to go, and that's really a kind of entrenchment, isn't it? Is that an assurance enough? Because it was a big issue to you before the election. In fact, it was your bottom line, and now it's just not there anymore. Well, is, is John Key's word enough real. on this? Let's be real. We didn't expect them to go within three years. We knew this was our long-term policy. It's so important to us that at least we've got it into a discussion a group, a, a, an examination, and. And, uh, and tied up with the constitution, which is the real issue for us, is having a constitution where Tangata Whenua is recognised. What are you going to look to achieve in the next three years as Minister of Māori Affairs? Oh, there's, there's a lot of work to be done. I think it's a good portfolio for Māori because it, it has the cultural side, the Māori language, Toto Fidi Te Reo, Māngai Pāho Broadcasting, and it also has the uh, review of the other government departments. So, you know, that's why it's a good portfolio to be in, because you can actually make sure things are happening out there. Because that's going to be key, because you're going to have to sell your relationship with the National Party to an Māori electorate that overwhelmingly, with their party vote, voted for Labour. Yes, but don't forget, they overwhelmingly put us back in. Very definitely. They've increased our four seats to five, and the number of Māoris on the Māori roll who gave their uh, party vote to uh, Labour only, it was only 10,000 more than gave it to us. So, you know, it's not that great a rift that everyone thinks it is. And it's not about national and Labour. It's about Māori standing up and saying we're, being, we're going to stand up and be counted. We've got Rodney Hyde coming on the show yeah. next. He's a partner in this government. You are Associate Minister of Corrections. That's right. And it appears from the deal that the National Party is weighing in on the side of Act Three Strikes. You're no, in prison. I asked for that portfolio, and I asked for it particularly. No, but, but do you agree with the three strikes and you're in prison for, for 25 well, years not. to life on your third violence offence? Do you agree with that? Well, it's not for me to agree or disagree. I mean, that's what Rodney's put up, and it's a national government that will look at their policies in relation to that. Why I'm there is because we were one of the, I was one of the team that put up these Māori focus units which are having a real good success as in terms of rehabilitation and recidivism. So, you know, stopping recidivism. So it's really good. But you must have a view. You were Associate Minister of Corrections now. Well, I'm totally into... Though you can't disagree uh, under the terms of the agreement. You, you can di di agree to disagree on things that are not portfolio Well, let's areas. wait until we see whether that is part of the, the policy at the end of the day. I know Rodney is negotiating that, and good luck to him. But at the end of the day, they will negotiate what's their heavy policy, their main line. I'm one more into the restorative justice side and the rehabilitation side of the prisons. The other uh, aspect which, which impinges on your area of corrections is... Uh, uh, National promise to crack down on gangs. Do you agree with everything that National is proposing in that area? Because you do meet relatively regularly with the mongrel mob. Oh, not only the mongrel mob, black power, all the gangs. But the point is, uh, they need cracking down. I mean, there's no two ways about that. You know, let's not hide things. We're not happy just because we're working with them of what they're doing. And but what we what we also want you to realise is, it's not just gangs. I mean, p methamphetamine is uh, your village uh, grocer, your school teacher. They're the people also involved in this thing. So, yeah, we're, we're right into that. There was a moment in the press conference with John Key yesterday when a journalist obviously had asked a question about the razor gang that's going to go through public spending, and Tariana was rolling her eyes or making some kind of face at the prospect of, of having someone from the private sector looking at government expenditure in a department. Is this a symbol that this isn't going to be an incredibly uneasy relationship for the next three years? Not at all. I think I, I would have rolled my eyes as well. I mean, <laughs> um, it is, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. But actually, with our portfolios, the area of spending we've got, uh, we, we've sort of um, negotiated a pretty good deal, I reckon. The other thing that, that came up over the weekend was Chris Trotter wrote a very yes, fiery uh, column yes, about uh, your party and used the term kupapa. Yeah. I am so angry with that man. He's arrogant and he's insolent and it just shows that he doesn't even understand tikanga Māori. 
until he can speak Māori, he shouldn't use such terms as kūpapa and, and uh, what, it, what it's mean. It's Māori them all over is disgusted with him, that people should come out, pick a term that they think they know about, and use it like that. He has absolutely missed the bus in terms of what Māori people think, and I think he's going to lose a lot of uh, following from Māori people. Thank you for your time this morning, Dr. Peter Sharples.